What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another video for you guys today. So what we have is some Brawl Ball on Backyard Bowl. So it's been a while since we've made a video regarding Daryl, so I want to show off some Daryl gameplay. Now I think he's super, super good on this map. I've been having a lot of fun with him, especially since you're seeing a lot of Franks right now, because the current meta is Rosa, and you have Franks countering the Rosa, so I think this is a really good counter. So let's go into a few games, let's play a little, and I'll show you guys exactly how you guys want a Daryl on Backyard Bowl. Ja, 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 ja. All right, so here we go into the first game. So we're going to be facing Rosa, Spike, and Carl. So straight off the bat, we can see that this is not a good comp at all for Daryl, but I think we can make it work. So something that you guys want to do is play a Poco alongside the Daryl. So the same reason as Rosa, because Daryl will be your goal scorer. So when you go in with him, you want that additional health, and Poco Seal can provide that. So Ash is just going to give us the ball over here. We're just going to roll towards the net. We're going to be able to get that ball, hope, hopefully. No, we're not going to be able to. We're just going to back up over here. Ash is going to deliver us a heal. And it looks like their Rosa is just going to go in right now. So we're going to feed it the ball so it wasn't able to shoot. We're going to see if we can get a roll. Oh, God, we messed that one. <laughs> I was trying to do it super fast right there because it had to be split second or else I wouldn't have been able to get the roll. Or, yeah, the roll off. But uh, yeah, we were able to get a kill though. We were double team. Good heal on Ash's end. It looks like he's just going to walk the ball into the net. So it's super hard, as you guys know, to play without the Rosa. We're trying to make it work over here. And see, the Rosa should be in these bushes, okay? If you hit someone with your stun with your Daryl, your super is going to be a lot, a lot more effective. So you want to make sure that you're also rolling on top of someone, not just beside them. So I'm assuming Ash is close to super. Yeah, he just got it. He's going to be able to super us over there. I'm going to be able to get my super off and hopefully be able to put it in. There we go. So we got that goal. That was a really good goal. I was literally last second. And let's see if we can uh, take the game over here. So right now, I'm kind of just focusing this Rosa, chipping my super, but also staying out of the Rosa's range. You can see how all three of us literally are on the Rosa at the moment. So I'm going to roll over here. Kind of messed up my roll a little bit. It's not exactly what I intended to do, but I guess it kind of worked out. We got the car a little bit low, but the Rose is moving up really fast with their super, so that's obviously not what you want. We're going to be able to get our super, and it looks like they're going to pass the ball up to the Rose over here. So we're just going to get her with that roll. We're going to make sure that we hit her with the bounce, as I said earlier. We're going to be able to also get that spike, and we're going to walk up the map right now. We're going to use our super to go over here. Let's see if we can hit her with the trick shot. We will be able to do so. And that's going to be the end of the first game right there. So that was a super, super good game against a really hard comp to face. Even as the Daryl, but we were still able to get that star player. So let's hop into the second game and let's see if we can continue dominating. So here we go into the second game. And this is exactly the type of comp you want to face. Something that has a Daryl in it and without that Rosa. So you can really hard counter that Daryl. Oh, I mean that Frank. I would have said Daryl instead of Rosa, but I meant countering the Frank. So basically all you want to do is chip away. You don't want to let the, the Frank hit you. I let him hit me once, which is obviously something you don't want. And you're just going to roll on top of the Daryl or on top of the Poco. The Poco does a really good job of support on this map. So if you can focus the Poco, that's a really, really good idea. So we're going to be able to take it out and get our super back. I'm going to wait till I'm a little bit more healed. Right here, I'm just going to roll on top of the Frank so we can stun his super. I'm going to go right back in there and roll. I'm going to be able to hit a lot. I should have the ball, and I'm just going to walk that into the goal, and that's going to be our first goal of this game. So we're going to go on the right side because that's where the Frank is. Just going to roll right back on top of him. Just do what we've already been doing. Just continuously dominate him. I'm going to use that roll to get by them. Hit it off the wall, and that is going to be the second goal of the game. So we really, really dominated on that one. I know for some of you, it's going to be really hard to do those quick flicks with the Daryl, be able to get those goals, but if you keep playing them, you're going to get used to it, and you're going to be able to get goals like that. All right, so here we go into the third game. Now, this is what you don't want to face. Now, if you're going up against the Colt isn't that bad, and Primo isn't that bad, but seeing that Shelly, that's exactly what counters us the most. So you definitely want to stay away from that Shelly as much as possible. You can see the Shelly is already coming towards us here. We are able to get our super, so let's see if we can go in. I think we're going to be able to do so. Yeah, we were able to just easily go in and do that because we were avoiding the Shelly. This time I'm going to play with the Shelly and go on the left side. Hopefully it goes on the right and we're able to juke it out. No, okay, so it went on the left. Shelly was able to get a good super there with her stun. I'm just going to roll over here and hopefully get close to the Colt. Okay, the Colt was on the other side. That should be fine, though. Dylan's just going to pass us up the ball. Ooh, really good shots over there by that Colt. Unbelievably well, actually. 
If he didn't hit us with that full clip, it's very likely he would have got that goal. So he's just going to pass the ball back to me since I'm the goal scorer. I'm going to evaluate the situation. I can clearly see two of them are on that side. So I'm just going to go over here. It looks like, although we didn't get what we wanted, it, we were able to bait that Shelly Super, which isn't the worst thing in the world. As well as we got them low, and by the time we're back up into where the, everything is happening, we're going to have our Super back. So as you can see, we got our Super. We're going to go to the left side, because that's where the ball is. Colt is going to pull up with the Super. Should be a pretty easy kill for them. Going to roll in over here. Really good clearance over there by the, uh, by the Primo. I'm just going to stand over here as Ash passes me the ball. Going to go for that trick shot. And that's going to be the end of the third game. 3-0. Three, no, three really good games so far. Let's hop into that fourth one. So here we go into this fourth game. Now this is a little bit of a conflict of interest because we have... We got the Frank over here, so we should be happy, but we're also facing that Shelly, so we just got to pick and choose when we want to go in over here, so we're just getting our super. As you guys know, Daryl, Daryl Super, you can get it by being passive, so that is super good. Now, we probably had a goal there, but Dylan messed up the pass a little bit. No worries, though, because we did get the ball back, and also the Frank was able to break the walls for us. Very kind of that Frank. All right, so I did do a lot of damage. I got my super back. Ash should be able to finish him off. That's going to be an easy goal over there by Dylan. I think I'm just going to walk up, grab the ball, and see if I can get a goal here. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm literally just going to walk up. Oh, no, I got stunned. See, that's why the Shelly is super, super good, because you can just stun you, get you off your game, slow you down, and it's just not what you want as a Daryl. So I'm going to wait for that Frank to super over there, because I knew he was going to super break the wall. Gonna wait for Dylan to pass me that ball. Gonna move a little bit away from him so it's easier. And again, the Shelly just said it just said no to us. On Brawl TV, 130 spectators. I expect the Frank's gonna be right here, so we're just gonna roll on him. Gonna pass it up so I can future roll. Gonna get my roll back. Roll. Ash is gonna give us that heal. Let's get that kill. Oh, good shot right there by the penny. But either way, that's gonna be the game. So we're four and zero. Oh. Usually I do four games, but the games were fairly quick, so we're going to do a fifth final game, and hopefully we can get that last dub. So here we go into the final game. We spawned in a little bit late over there. We are face facing a Frank. Okay, I just saw a Frank, a Jesse. And a Tara, so this should be fairly easy for us. It's gonna go to this right side over here. We're about to get our super, they don't know that. And we're just gonna roll through. Oh, what? What? That totally looked like it was in the net. I'm gonna have to look at that replay after because I totally think that was going through the net. I don't know what happened over there, but there was definitely no net over there and it literally hit nothing. But anyways, here we go. I don't even know what that Frank was super like, we were we weren't even near there. Like even if we charged it like straight at it, I don't even think we would be able to get into that into that range of the super. We're just gonna roll over here because we know we have Ash with the pull. Gonna do a little bit of juking. Gonna roll right back on them. Ash is gonna probably feed us the ball. Let's get that right coast. I went for the right corner, but we got supered right before then. Ash is gonna go for a few jukes. Hopefully you can walk it in. No, it appears he wasn't able to do so. So we're almost getting our super back. They don't know that we're going to have our super. So we're just going to chill in these bushes and let them bring it up. Unless we see the Frank. Okay, the Frank is right here. We want to kind of bait out that ball. Okay, so there it is. Just going to walk to it real quick. The Frank doesn't know. Yeah, there we go. That's a goal. We got right out of the way as fast as we could. And there is the first goal of the game a minute and a half in. So there's a minute left in the game. Um, I'm still a little bit curious as to why my first one didn't go in. Like, I swear, it, it actually hit nothing, but... Anyways, let's walk up. It looks like Dylan's gonna be open on that left side, so I'm just gonna feed him over there. And I'm just gonna roll right on top of that Jesse, so he's not able to pick up the ball. And that is going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know I really enjoyed playing Daryl on this map because it's super, super fun. Hopefully you guys learned a lot as this map is always, always on ladder as well as it's played competitively a ton. So hopefully you guys can see what I did and pick up on it. But with that, that is going to be it today. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.